Hey everyone, today I want to have a little discussion on damage over time in Destiny, and I got my buddy Holtzman here. Holtzman, how you doing? I'm doing well. I just woke up. Yeah, I know, you sleepy, <laughs> sleepy head. Alright, so, Crimson Doubles just came and went, and I'm sure a lot of people were noticing a ton of Sunsingers, a ton of Thorns, and it seems to be kind of coming back in PvP now. Now, before we even get into that, I have no issues with damage over time in PvE. In fact, I would love to see damage over time utilized more in PvE, but I think we'll we'll kind of talk about that later because it's damage over time is fun, especially when you can get a lot of things ticking at the same time. Um, but we're gonna talk about PvP today. In PvP, it's not fun. Um, you know, Thorn. You used to be able to two-shot headshot someone in year one, and that was incredibly obnoxious. One of the fastest time to kill times of any weapon. I think that's probably ever existed in Destiny PvP. You know, what is the main problem with damage over time? Well, it, it kind of it, go, it goes back to like how health regen works in this game, and it actually kind of calls back to PvE, where. You know, normally in you know, a, a game where we have raids and where we work together, there's going to be different roles that we play, like tanking and healing and damage dealing. Well, you're kind of all three of those in Destiny, so you kind of you have a lower health pool to manage in PVE, and that's what you're expected to do. Well, in PVP, that same thing carries over. You have a lower health pool, and damage over time effects make it so you cannot regenerate that lower health pool. Right, and because this damage from the damage over time is tied to other things actually happening, like shooting Thorn or having a Firebolt grenade thrown at you, mm -hmm. the damage really, really can stack up, and with such low health pools, that leaves you incredibly vulnerable. Like, maybe if damage over time components didn't have damage components attached to them, as if, you know, like, if you threw a Firebolt grenade the Firebolt didn't actually deal damage or it dealt less damage than it did, and the main component was supposed to be the damage over time. Mm -hmm. That I can see as, you know, still somewhat appealing because you get that benefit of, you know, keeping someone out of the game. You can push on them knowing that they have to regenerate or they, they can't regenerate their health at all. But it doesn't give you such a huge advantage that you deal your normal damage plus a ton of damage over time on top of it. So... Yeah. You know, it's it's very, it's it's just not kind of fun to play against. You know. Yeah, it takes you out of the game for an incredibly long time. Even you say you get hit by a firebolt grenade uh, in its current state when everyone's running a Viking funeral touch of flame, you're out of the game for 14 seconds until you can then regenerate. 14 your health. seconds. 14 seconds. That's. That's a long time. That is a long <laughs> freaking time in shooters. And, and, dur and during that time period, if you get hit by, say, a might of multi-tool body shot, two shots from Doctrine of Passing, you know, to pretty much anything, you're going to burn out and die from it. It's, it, it's, not, it's not fun to play around, basically. Right. And, you know, Crimson Doubles, I think, would have been much more fun had Thorn not been <laughs> really a thing, because the thing about... The Broken Heart buff is that it's fun to have that buff. It gives you a very unique experience. You, you don't get that experience where you have max armor, max recovery, max agility, maximum speeds, everything. But with Thorn, it completely negates the recovery bonus, <laughs> yeah. which was arguably the most potent of, you know, maxing out your stats. Mm -hmm. So if you it came down really to that to, 1v1... Uh... You really had to push a guy that had that buff on. Like, you had to, right. you had to work together to take him down because he's going to regenerate his health so much so quickly and now let's say you just equip thorn well that mechanic goes out right. the window and and you could argue that it's smart thinking you know why wouldn't you use that yeah, they have yeah. super fast health regen and uh you know you would use thorn to disable their health regen that's obviously the way to go but as the person on the other side it's not fun to fight against it it's just not fun at all mm -hmm. so you know there, there's not really a reason not to go with damage over time, or sorry, there's not really a reason not to use damage over time in PvP. There's there's no negatives to it at all. Yeah, it's just exactly. the the benefits of damage over time are so great that you'd almost be stupid not to take it. Which is you know, 
it's it's smart move to take it, but man, it's obnoxious. So, you know, if say they nerf something like firebolt damage, where the main point of the firebolt, if you had like Viking funeral on and and all that stuff, was to apply the damage over time. So that way, if you did get hit by a firebolt grenade. You know, the damage over time would be the main component and the main mechanic of that grenade happening. As opposed to the damage actually happening and keeping you out of the game for so long and keeping you so, so, I guess, vulnerable is the word. Yeah. Um, so, what, what can we really do about damage over time if we were to do something? Like, say the community just got so pissed off at damage over time, like, we want change... What could we really do about it? Well, for PvP, for for, for PvP, um, I, we've been playing around with a, a ton of different ideas, uh, and the 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 one thing is the this type of change needs to be able to. Uh, I don't know. It this is this is only for PvP, right? Only for PvP. Yes, or, PvP only. Okay, PvP only because dots are fine in PVE, and they need more of them. In fact, but. In PvP, um, the the real problem is regenerating your health, getting back into the fight. It it completely dictates the course of of engagements once that dot has been applied. Uh, for, be it from thorn, incendiary grenade, fireball grenade, whatever it is, you're out of the fight until that dot allows you to regenerate your health again. So, uh, what we were, I think, what you and I kind of agreed on is just shields. Uh, maybe dots at at the at their current their current place in the game they should only affect shields or something like that. So you can still if you if you get hit by a firebolt grenade or an incendiary grenade and you know your health goes into way into the red, you'll still be able to regenerate your health, but you won't be able to regenerate your shield as long as you have that debuff on you. Right, and I think we also you know tossed around the idea of damage over time doesn't actually deal damage but it just keeps a debuff on you that prevents you from mm -hmm. regenerating your health which I also think would be an interesting idea to play around with. Mm -hmm. Obviously we don't know in practice if these things would be you know plausible if they would work out but you gotta start somewhere right? You gotta start with something and, and see what kind of works and what's not gonna work. Um, you know obviously you don't want to re just completely remove damage over time from yeah. pvp because it is a cool and interesting mechanic but you need to make it so the person on the other end on the receiving end actually has maybe an option like i don't know how many times i've played trials of osiris and just i get a burning grenade thrown at me and I just couldn't get out of the way in time. And here comes the cavalry just coming in. Warlocks ready to punch me from 30 feet away. And there's just nothing I could have done about it other than run. But, you yeah. know, it's, it, it doesn't always work out that way. The, so The only real thing to battle, um, specifically Firebolt Grenade right now, is like Night Stalker Shade Step. Which, uh, I like that there is... That, that's a that's actually a really good balance, in, in my opinion, is that you have to first recognize that damage is incoming and then use and then use your skills to actually avoid said damage um that that's a really good balance because if you don't notice that, that grenade is coming you're going to take the full damage um the other thing is over shields also play a very big role with uh damage over time effects and they're the only thing that can that every player has the opportunity to use in some way via you know resurrecting someone or I don't know, getting an overshield from a, a defender bubble. There, there's lots of different mechanics, um, but they're not they're not able to be used. You know, once the dot has been applied, every single time they're, they're very niche mechanics. Right. So I, I think the main the main issues with damage over time are thorn and fireball grenades. There there are some other uh, there are some other mechanics with mm -hmm. damage over time. You have the incendiary grenade. You have hunter throwing knife. Mm -hmm. Uh, you mentioned smoke, smoke bomb. I know you can kind of attach it, but I don't really think of smoke bomb as in in the same vein as I do fireball grenades and thorn and stuff like that. Even though it, it is kind of a uh, yeah. it is kind of a thing. The thing about incendiary grenades is that I think 
that if you do land that perfect grenade, because right now, if you land that 170 damage grenade it's on pretty, incendiary it's right grenade, feet, right it feet. will kill them. Right. Yeah. It's it's precision. And I think to take that away, because you took away damage over time or you changed damage over time, would be a very huge negative. So if something like that were to happen where, you know, you remove the damage over time component, I think that bumping up the grenade damage to make it so it's still a one shot when you have that perfect, perfect placement would something would be something that would need to happen. Because I think those perfect grenades, like, it, it's only feasible that if a grenade lands right at your feet, you're going to die from that. Uh, yeah, that's true. But uh, uh, one thing at a time, for the most part, we, right, we, yeah. we should just address dots and we can fine-tune things like incendiary grenades later. Right. Um, but, yeah, that that's a, that's a conversation I wanted to kind of get going. Uh, viewers, if you want to leave your comments on damage over time, what do you think of damage over time in PvP? Is it a problem? Is it something that should stay in the game? Is it something that should maybe be tweaked? You know, I, I know plenty of people get really, really sick and tired of Sunsingers and Thorn, you know. I, I don't know many people who like Thorn coming back, except for the really hardcore PvP community. Like, a, a tournament that happened what, probably last month, literally every single person was just using Thorn, and they loved it. And it, it, it's it's because the primary weapons as a whole right now are really underwhelming. Uh, so weapons like Thorn, Last Word, uh, that have very high time to kills um, are seen as, you know, kind of the only the only option. Right, and I think they, they also had mentioned that, you know, when you don't use weapons like thorn and, and last word you know if you're using like a pulse rifle that gives the other team the opportunity to kind of back away and they mm -hmm. think that slows down gameplay which i thought was pretty interesting but i know from a spectator standpoint that seeing everyone use thorn especially after year one where after thorn got buffed everyone was using thorn you know from the spectator point of view it's just not that exciting to watch i, I mean what happened when we were at the red bull clash course thing Every single person there was using the pulse rifle in the side. Oh yeah, yeah, because it, it was, was ridiculous. Thing. It was the strongest thing to use, yeah. and you really can't blame you know, the hardcore community for sticking with a weapon that has a dot mechanic on it that right. freely gets applied uh, and is, has a three uh, three shot body shot kill because of said dot in PvP. It's yeah. you can't blame them. You're always going to the competitive community is always going to gravitate towards the things that are the most strongest. Yeah, and you know, I don't like you said. I don't. I don't blame him either. I don't blame him either. And you just mentioned three shot, uh, three shot thorn kill. I think that's another thing that kind of bugs people is that you don't even have to go for the head anymore with thorn. Yeah. Something like that is capable of killing in three shots. You know, I, I'm fine with hand cannons killing in three shots, but at least make it so one shot's got to be accurate enough to hit me in the head. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's just kind of. It, it gives you such an advantage in a lot of engagements that it's just it's it's annoying that you can't you can't really fight against it. You have to be more accurate than the other person if you're both using hand cannon and one person's you know using thorn. They can just yeah. go for anywhere. Yeah. You have to go for the head. And it's just yeah. Anyway, I don't want to drag that on too much longer. Uh, that's all I got, Holtzman. Thank you very much for uh, for joining me. Thank you. I will post Holtzman's information in the description, but you should already know who Holtzman is. Hi. We're basically the same person. I have long Anyways. hair <laughs> and live on the East I, Coast. I used to have long hair and live on the East Coast, so we're close. No. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you guys very, very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.